Yo, what's the word, gang? So, yeah, man, we got this news report when it comes down to WAC 100, J. Prince Jr., J. Prince. Now, apparently, WAC 100 was on Clubhouse. He was speaking on running into FBG Butter. Now, when he ran into FBG Butter, he said that he originally told him to come inside the area that he was in. And Butter was like, you know what I'm saying? Basically, he said he wasn't going over the, you know, possibility of, you know, the rumors of him being a rat. You know, uh, WAC 100 always speaking on rats and shit. Exposing him So You know He didn't want to You know Address Wack So Wack said He started calling his name So eventually He came in And um You know They took a picture He said He didn't really know Who FBG Butter was He just knew that um They was like You should meet him Now He go to rap a lot part So One of the guys That was with Butter They heard that Wack 100 Was in that building And apparently They didn't want to answer you know, some of his homies that be standing outside, I guess, you know, on security, seen the dude with the rap a lot chain and say he had introduced himself to them guys that was outside, but he did not go in the inside of the building. And a lot of people were saying that this is possibly coming because of the beef between WAC 100 and J Prince Sr., as well as Junior. Now, me personally, I, I, I could see why Buddy wouldn't want to go in that studio because he don't know what type of energy dude on, you know, far as like what, what, what type of concerns he need to have going into that building. You know, pretty much this guy is beefing with, you know what I'm saying, my CEOs. That's what I would take, right? Because he a rapper. He sound a rap a lot. If he beefing, if Wack is beefing with J Prince and J Prince Jr., you know, is beefing with his CEOs. So, he probably was like, you know what, I'm not even going to put myself in that type of situation to possibly get this chain snatched, then it all be on the news. You know what I'm saying? Be all over around the internet, all on the blogs. You know, California in possession of a rap a lot chain. And if y'all didn't know, so back when Mace, last week when Mace and um, Cameron had mentioned J Prince, they were saying how... He don't pretty much go at the West Coast. Like, anybody who talks something about Drake, he usually in their defense. And in this case with Kendrick, you know, TDE, he didn't say anything to top, top, about Top Dog as well as to Kendrick. You know, as if, you know, that's just something he don't want to play with. You know, I, I could be wrong, but this is what the internet is saying. This is what people are pulling from the comments, you know. A lot of people are leaving them type of comments, like, where that energy for Kendrick? Why that energy? Why you got all that energy for Mason Cameron when Kendrick just destroyed Drake, allegedly, right? So, it's just, to me, bro, honestly, it's just a whole puzzle when it comes to this J. Prince and WAC 100 thing. You know, they've been beefing for some years now, and I don't know. Are they ever going to cross paths? Are they ever going to cross paths? And that's, that's the question. And what happens in that moment? Do one of them demonstrate? You know what I'm saying? Some of the stuff that they've been talking about online. You know, what comes behind it. Now, I'm going to play this footage as well as I'm going to drop some more audio. If y'all didn't hear the original audio of um, Wax speaking on Jay Prince and the whole May situation. But y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's done for the Cloud Chaser TV. First thing I do is, you know Kiddo? Kiddo Curry? He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuck with Kiddo? Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, that's P. I was like, okay, cool. But I didn't... See, Adam and none of them niggas even mentioned to me that this was the niggas. Yeah, because that other nigga stayed outside with us. He didn't even come in there. The one with the rap a lot chain. Because they thought, listen, G Wayne, they thought we was on some, they thought I was gonna get on some bullshit. Yeah, that nigga stayed outside. Yeah, they thought I was gonna get on some bullshit, but I, I really didn't know. Yeah, so I can't, I didn't know that name. I can't remember his name, though he said his name. I'm about to catch backlash about that. But that's on me for not knowing. See, with me, Jay Prince got the popularity vote. With Cam and uh, Mace, he don't got the popularity vote. And, and, and Mace is arrogant. Cam is arrogant. So you started it, what you going to do. And they didn't say what they said. So let's see where it go. Yeah, if I know Jay Prince, he going to get on the phone and want to have a conversation. That's all he do. He just like to. And make it look like that's why I wasn't doing that with him. He tried to do the same shit. Nah, we ain't doing that because that's what you do. And then you try to make it look like, you know, you to this and you to that. We ain't doing that. Facts. Hey, did you hear the audio, though? Them niggas, them niggas reference you. Cam and Mace reference you. 
reference your little shit that you had with Jay Prince and like, shit. He probably, they probably talked about me, NBA. They probably talked about why you ain't say nothing to top dog them. You know what I'm mean? I, I can only imagine shit they That's say. definitely what they said. That's definitely what they said, bro. Can anybody play audio on here? <laughs> Big Chuck got put on punishment. His girl said she ain't moving back in until he stay off clubhouse. So he, he can't do it. <laughs> but see, why did the nigga even go at them niggas? Like, what you tripping over? You tripping over a fighter, right? I'm pretty sure all Mason them and did was did their little commentary on it. All they said was the same shit that every motherfucking sports commentator been saying. That the nigga Shakur Stevenson, his fights is boring. That's just the truth. Everybody feel the same way. And then after his last fight, you know, all them people was walking out before the fight was over. So after the fight, everybody was like, his fights is boring. Niggas don't like to go see Shakur Stevenson fight. Boom. Cam and Mace did they little daily sports commentary, which they supposed to do because they're a sports show. They're a sports show, Jay Prince. That's what they supposed to do. They supposed to commentate on sports. Once they did that, Shakur got in his feelings. He started talking crazy about Cam and Mace. Boom. You know Cam and Mace like what you just said, Wack. Them niggas did. is, yeah, they not going for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them, niggas, them niggas is really arrogant ass niggas, bro, and they got them slick lives. All them niggas for real. Facts. So they said what they said. Shakur said what he said. And now Jay Prince put up this post yesterday and, you know, did the little weak ass shit he always yeah, tried to do. Talking the little... about I handle all this outside business too. And all right. That stuff. Right, all his fake Michael Corleone type shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that nigga may say, nigga, we don't got no big homie. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, he picked the right two. But what he don't know is Cam let Mace control it. So that means... <laughs> he got the right, listen, he got the popularity vote over me. What up, what up, what up? But he ain't got that over them niggas right there. Well, now, what's the word, folks? Nah, not at all. Not now, at all. I want to see, because New York was siding with old Jay Prince. I want to see what New York got to say about it. But see, they brought that up, too. Mace was saying, basically, like, okay, he was saying about how Jay Prince tried to call out New York. You know when that change shit happened and yeah. all that. And he was like, that ain't really go over too well for Jay Prince. Then he brought up you. Mace was like, you trying to pick and choose, you know what I'm saying? You ain't say shit to whack 100 when he was at you, you know what I'm saying? And then Cam was like, Cam kind of correct, corrected him a little bit and was like, well, he did respond to whack, but he was like, Cam was like, the shit whack said to him, I ain't even going to repeat that shit, you know what I'm saying? He was like, whack violated that nigga and um, ain't no really coming back for that type shit. Like, basically, like, he could never be cool after that type shit, the way you violated that nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why he went. He must have forgot who them two niggas is. That nigga Mace is the asshole of assholes. He's going to make you, nigga. And, and Cam don't give a fuck. Yeah, nah, Cam don't. They they gave the nigga like a good ten minutes. They gave him a little like you know like a little warning <laughs> shot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to see what Jay Prince gonna come back and say. If Jay Prince respond to this shit and keep this shit going. Them niggas gonna flame his ass the fuck up, bro. Yeah, all I know is this. Um, he's showing the signs. See, he used to get away with this shit back in the day. Because people would get on the phone and say, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. No. This ain't Mace them of the early 90s. This ain't them. Niggas ain't getting on the phone saying shit. Them niggas did they little sports shit. They wasn't disrespectful. It was what it was. And you tried to get on there and say, and I handle all this outside business too. Like them niggas was supposed to tuck their tail. Yeah, nah, they ain't going for that. Mace, Mace said that shit too. Mace was like, I used to have some type of respect for you, but now I don't have no type of respect for you at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you 60 years old trying to push this trying to trying to pull this little street shit on niggas like niggas is little niggas niggas is not little niggas bro you gotta understand that shit them niggas when it come to they voice they voice is way bigger That's than yours fact, Jay Prince. Bro. and here go the thing for a nigga who done been recalled who done been popped with 
50 keys and all kind of shit. And there's shit going on down there, still ongoing investigations. This nigga real loose with his mouth with this type of shit, bro. Why do you think Jay Prince feel he could speak on everybody's business except the West Coast? Nah, he ain't gonna fuck with that. No, I know he ain't. I know he don't speak up on West Coast business. <laughs> he ain't gonna fuck with that. But what makes our politics different from all these other coasts that he's willing to speak up? His son been robbed five times out here. Okay. There it's a fact. And he got to call niggas, call, he can call us, call Big U, call the Black Stones, you know, to try to, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He know, he know, you got to remember, they can skate around that South because, you know, the GD or the BD, whatever one they associate with, you know, they got their business over there. That shit don't work over here. We don't give a fuck about none of that kind of shit over here. Niggas is cripping and blood and south side and power ruin and, and just the basic hustlers. Cause we got some real hustler niggas don't fall up under no flag that's gonna get with the shit. Right? So he, he know that shit. You can't make them call. He tried to make a call on me. Out there and the homie said, I hear you. He said, Let me tell you how I met Wack on the level three yard nineteen ninety six. I was two weeks to the house. Nigga owed me a debt, wasn't paying me. I was finna go blast him. He said, gee, homie, I can't let you do that. And he took that for me. He said, so if you calling me about my homeboy, nigga, I know I'm from Compton, he's from Pacoima, but this is what you better know, nigga, this is rope. And that nigga got off that jack. And then little niggas, he got represent rap a lot West or whatever. He calling them, they calling me, nigga, call, what you want to do, whack? He don't understand the part that I told him, like, bro, stop playing on that phone. Before I start playing with your real life. I plan on that phone, bro. I plan on that phone. None, yeah, of, them, I, none of them niggas I, in this bloodline outside of his brother is that. His kids ain't that, and they some good little dudes. You know what I'm saying? Especially that one Jaws, Jaws Prince and the little lights get on good little dudes. They had on their business, don't fuck with nobody, none of that shit. Right? The other nigga a little weird. He got rape cases, all kind of weird shit. He be trying to play tough and he ain't tough. You know what I'm saying? But but he needs to really kick back, bro, because that Cam and uh, and, and Mace, they going to give him the attention he's looking for. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, I noticed, York, his, um, I noticed that rap a lot. West, he tried to start that label, and that shit just disappeared. Ain't no, he ain't even a rap a lot South. Yeah, huh. that shit dead right now. Dead. So, but I'll tell you what, he got the right to. And New York gonna stand with them niggas. They ain't going for none of that. That ain't no hocus four fifth shit going on. With you that. see how quick them niggas responded, bro? That shit happened yesterday evening. Them niggas did that shit first thing this morning. That shit dropped like nine o'clock in the morning. But it make him look so bad. It made Jay Prince look like he he selected politicking because nigga, you always speak up for Drake whenever Drake got some shit going on. When Drake had the shit going on with Diddy, you remember Jay Prince put out that little mm -hmm. notice he did. Anytime Drake got issues, he's stepping up. But with this Kendrick shit, this shit been quiet as a church oh, mouse. Goes. This nigga ain't said nothing. Goes this from them talking about his fights is boring? This is where this shit Yes, bro. From? This, this, shit this came from them giving commentary off of a fucking boxing match, bro, which they do on they show, bro. The nigga Shakur been on they show before. So I, I don't... I don't understand what they think going on. These niggas know how Cam and Mace get up, bro. Everybody's saying that. This shit nasty. This shit nasty. Man, fuck Jay Prince. He out of touch. Yeah, he definitely out of touch, bro. He definitely out of touch. This nigga think this shit still 1989, 1998, shit like that. Do that nigga even have any artists? Nah, you know, he he into the boxing, I guess. I mean, you, you could say they got finesse two times, but, you know, finesse two times losing, losing his steam and shit. Nah, Jay Prince, J, J, J Prince, he don't even fuck with the music no more. He left that shit to his sons and shit. That nigga just try to focus on the boxing and shit. So, like, rap a lot? Yeah. Nah, that nigga ain't doing finesse shit. Finesse ain't been around them niggas in I don't know how long. Franklin, you sound like you from Texas. You from Texas, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down here in Houston right now. Got you. Got you. So, so can you give us, like, a little... <laughs> A little breakdown of like what Jay Prince and Shakur Stevenson connection is, because a lot of people don't know. Oh no, nah, I don't know too much in detail, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them nigga, that nigga is just supposedly his his manager in boxing and shit like that or whatever, supposedly or whatever. But 
outside of that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, they probably got some connections outside of it, but I don't really know too much, bro. So Jay Prince do sports matters, man. Maybe Shakur trying yeah. to go down the Floyd been, route because he, you remember he been in boxing. Floyd yeah, he's trying to go down the Floyd route. Uh, when Floyd had oh uh, shit, I ain't uh, never knew that. Had that nigga Jay Prince get him out of that contract with Bob Arum. Yep. So Facts. that might be that might be the angle that he going with, trying yeah, to Jay, use his muscles. Yeah, Jay Prince been in the boxing for a minute, man. He been he been in the boxing for a yeah, long time. Boxing for a minute. Yeah, I seen I seen he had an interview one time. He said he was trying to manage Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was hot. He said he went to a meeting to try to manage Mike, took a million dollars up there, some shit. Mike turned him down, type shit. Do his name still hold the way they used to hold back in the day? Or, you know, is them young niggas running shit around in there? Yeah, he still had the respect he did. Uh he gonna always have that respect here in Houston. Um the young niggas here, they they have the respect for him, but it's like a, uh, it's one of the things that we not scared of you type shit. You know what I'm saying? We respect you, but we not scared of you type shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's that's generally what it is. So, but uh, nah, he's 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 still uh, who he is here in Houston. That's for sure. See, the issue with Jay Prince, I think he think his little power, or whatever he got in Houston goes across the board across the country and that's where he's getting mistaken because la niggas we don't give a fuck about them never have well see he got some he got he got he got a lot of connections around the, around the country no, i'm not that saying he don't Prince fucked up when he i believe he, when he fucked up when he uh when he got on when he got on the internet that's where he fucked up you know what i'm saying if he's supposed to be the the steam that he has and the person that he is he shouldn't have never got on the internet and start talking and start doing